Welcome back to Common Sense Rhode Island. I'm Representative Patricia Morgan and we have with us today John Laughlin, a former legislator and now working for the National Federation of Independent Businesses, trying to do something about our hostile business climate here. You know, and, and, and I'm glad you brought that up too because it's very important that I also get a plug in for my weekend job. The NFIB is my day job. The weekend job is the John Laughlin Show on WPRO from 11 to 2. <laughs> now, recently we had, uh, because it's, no one wants to come on a Saturday to come on the show, so we had to create an incentive to get the gubernatorial candidates to come in and actually debate. So we gave away John Laughlin Show toasters. So I was half expecting a common sense Rhode Island toaster when I showed up here, but you know, I get up maybe not at the level of like uh, a Ken Block or know, Alan Carr, um, the, the rate of toast. Not in the but, budget. But I will tell you, and I'm going to make this promise for all of the common sense. Uh, I will viewers, give you a stick of gum when you leave. Thank you. <laughs> if you decide to run for governor and you come in to debate <laughs> on the John Laughlin Show, you will get a John Laughlin Show toaster. Yeah. I, that I will guarantee you. Whoa, that's something. That and the I'll same goes for Governor them. Raimondo. So I know she watches every episode of this. Governor, if you're watching, Toaster for you too. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> but let's talk about the hostile business climate yes, because that really is something that, as soon as I got in there, I tried to start working on, and I find so many blockades in the General Assembly. Um, it's just hard to get regulatory reform, mm -hmm. it's hard to get judicial reform. It's hard. I mean, it's impossible. And you keep trying, and well, it just doesn't happen. We very happen. much I mean, have a status quo government. You know, we have a government that that um, will make tiny little changes at the margin, and then shout and about then it, and then shout like about they it like just, they've just cured yeah. cancer. And yet, when we get the the listings back, we're still at fifty percent, fifty thought of fifty. And state. yet, for eight years, we've had a laser-like focus on jobs and the economy. I mean, they run on it every election. And yet then they get in there and they do next to nothing. It really is a status quo government. And that's, that's the inertia of the laziness of one party's lopsided dominance of the building. Well, it's hard because you do step on toes. And it would be the same if it was the Republicans on the other side. Right. If you do reforms to the, right. the litigation, right, There's, we have a really bad, 44 other states have done this reform to make it less litigious for mm -hmm. businesses. 44 other states have found that it's a benefit, but we can't find it here in Rhode Island because we would step on well, toes. Remember and, when and I get it, but, but those toes would have more business if right. there were more businesses. Remember when the governor went out and, and kind of unilaterally got rid of a bunch of licenses? Oh, yes. And, and you would have thought that it was Armageddon. And now, you know, as a free market person, I think you need as few licenses as possible. And, and if, if it's not something there are barriers to entering exactly and, and you could see that all of the people who had those licenses knew that that was going to affect because now anybody could do their job they, they knew that was going to so they marched on the state house they how dare you take our licenses away we want to pay this money every year to you because it keeps everyone else out out and as a free marketeer i know it's painful but you got to open up markets you got to open up competition and unless something absolutely needs to be licensed it shouldn't be and I, I applaud the governor for doing that, and she took some heat on it. She took a lot of heat on it. I, I remember um, reading about, in the black community, they braid their hair. Mm -hmm. It's a specific skill, um, and women do it in their homes. You know, people come in, and they braid their hair, and they were trying to demand that they get beautician licenses, <laughs> right? It's just a barrier, yeah. and so you're taking people who are just trying to make a few extra bucks braiding the hair of their neighbors, you know, right. their neighborhood, and shut down, can't I do mean, it. But it, that shows you how, it, to your point, how difficult it is to get any sort of regulatory reform. Because as soon as you start in that direction, one, one of the, the ones I absolutely love, if you own a business in the state of Rhode Island and you have a hot water heater, because you like to have hot water occasionally, you have to have someone from the state come in and inspect it yearly and pay $100 for a boiler inspection. Or more. Or more. That's for a hot water heater. Now, I have a hot water heater in my home and have for a long time because I like hot water. Never had a problem, and I've never had anybody from the state. Showers aren't always welcome, yes. And I never had anybody from the state have to come in and inspect it that I had to write a check to. And it is. In this day and age, as we say, why can't businesses have the same leeway that a homeowner has? And seriously, I have talked with business owners, and I know you have too, in some of these inspections where they come in. It really is just, okay. Mm -hmm. Because they know it's a hot water Give heater. me my fee. Yeah. I had one business owner. He, was, he had been sending the check in for the fee. And he called the state one day. And he said, you know what? 
now that you mention it, nobody's ever come in here and inspected my hot water heater. So he called up and he said, hey, I'm calling from XYZ Business. I'm wondering why you guys never came and inspected. They said, would you like us to come out and inspect or would you like to just send us the check? I'll just send you the check. <laughs> why have the guy? But, all right, so is it really an inspection no, for safety it's, it's, reasons or is it just a way to get, a way more, to get more money, money out of from the businesses? Exactly. Right, and that weakens them over time. Yes. You know, if you could keep that money, like that lady with the cooler, mm -hmm. right, you have it to improve your business, to maybe get more customers in, right. to hire more, more employees because you have more customers. So it, all of those fees, there's one fee, it's only 40 bucks, but it's for litter control. Mm. Well, nobody is coming down from the state to pick up those parking lots. It's just $40. No, but there is a really good NFIB Just member, send us $40. Express Sweeping, Henry and Barbara DiPietro, they're NFIB members <laughs> in West Warwick, and they'll come out and take care of your parking lot for you. Okay, great. I mean, Express if you for have, the next. Okay, but if you have a problem, you know, if you have an event and you what, but most, this is just really. Right. This is just $40 a year. Um, it was, they tried to find a way to grab an extra $40 right. out of every business. Let's think of a name. And well, I'm sure there are other ones out there. And another thank you uh, for killing the governor's proposed Taylor Swift tax. Oh, Lord. Because that, for those of you scoring state, at home, that was going to be a property. statewide property tax on millionaires with second homes in Musquamic and Westerly and that sort of thing. And it's Who not, are happy to pay it. Right. And it's not that, that we have you know, millionaires and uh, are members of NFIB, but you guys wisely recognize that created a statewide property tax. And it might not be this governor, it might not even be the next governor, but some governor somewhere is going to say, you know what? I have a hold. Why don't we just push this statewide property tax out to all the business owners? Just a small one. So now you're paying property tax to the city of town of West Warwick and to the state of Rhode Island. Yeah. So you guys stop that in your, your wisdom and, and cut the governor off the knees with that. Thank you. Well, you can't just keep grabbing more money from everybody. And you've got to right. recognize the, the... And so with that segue, we'll talk about tolls mm -hmm. just briefly because you've already heard it ad nauseum from me, but that's just another tax, right. quite frankly. Yep. And it's a tax on consumers. You won't see it. It's not added to the, to the sales receipt, but it's in the price of everything that you own and another thing that hurts small businesses. Right. And you know, the other thing that occurs to me with that, that's something that, that really needs a federal solution. And I would love to see somebody in our federal delegation say, look, you know, we created the interstate highway system in 1956. We had the option then of making it toll or non-toll. And we specifically said, let's make it non-toll to the extent that we could. There were some pre-existing tolls so that we can have the maximum flow of commerce. Now imagine if Rhode Island puts in Gina's tolls and then Daniel Malloy puts in his tolls in Connecticut and right on down the line, a gallon of orange juice is going to cost $60 to go from Florida to Portland, Maine if it okay. goes through thousands of toll gantries. Better get used to drinking water. But um, <laughs> listen, um, we just have a minute left. Okay. I want you to, to tell people why they, why they should join NFIB. To me, it's an alternative to the chambers, and it's also a very effective um, organization that helps you push back against all of these things that hurt your business. But maybe you. Yeah, I mean, add. essentially, NFIB, uh, you know, is membership in NFIB gives you a voice. It gives you makes you part of a much larger body, uh, and it brings and surfaces the issues that small business owners care about, and hopefully get some resolution. Yeah. So search out John. Join NFIB if you have have an interest, um, because it will help you, and it'll help Rhode Island.